heart conditions like bradycardia were complex challenges for years but pacemakers were developed as an effective solution when implanted in the body they monitor heart rhythm and restore it to its natural pace pacemakers have an interesting history and here we'll try to find out more about them pacemakers have been the most interesting innovation in medicine external pacemaker was the first thing that was developed this development happened in about 1950s the size of the pacemaker was the size of my hand but the real innovation came in the 60s when an implantable device was done probably in the abdomen and then in the chest of the patient there has been huge evolution in the development of pacemakers now we have reached to a stage where the size of pacemakers has been reduced to hardly two fingers this is the size of a conventional pacemakers where a surgical pocket is formed in the chest to implant the pacemaker and through a venous puncher the leads go inside the heart now let's take a look at the course of the latest developments in pacemaker technology the development has come to implant the pacemakers from a femoral root the lower limb of the body this small capsule size pacemaker is the latest innovation in the management of pacing which has come to the patient's benefit because it doesn't involve surgery patient walks home the same day after 6 hours and uh, it is much more better initially we had only a single chamber leadless pacemaker now leadless pacemaker with the av sequential pacing is available upper and lower chamber coordination is maintained and the patient benefits more i can think of a patient who had a bypass surgery in the past and his chest was full of keloids so this patient had left bundle branch block and was having intermittent complete heart block keeping that in mind i gave him the option of leadless pacemaker explaining that there will be no requirement of surgery he will not have another keloid and the infection will not happen so he agreed to that i implanted the pacemaker he has been doing fine prior to the innovation of leadless pacemaker i don't think so this was possible these things are possible now as a reality that patient can go without a surgery without a scar with no risk of infection and uh, do well in life